Hello, Raleigh. This is Whitney Hill. Whitney for Raleigh. I'm pretty fired up right now. I've been to a couple of really great uh, candidate events. Uh, one of them was on Monday night, uh, which was the uh, CAC meeting uh, for Midtown. And the one tonight was a group Raleigh Forward uh, over at uh, Couples House. And these events, here's what really encourages me. Folks, I think our, our city council has not really been allowed to perform like they could right now. Uh, I think that I'm, I'm going to lay a certain amount of blame with the city administration of not giving these folks the information they need. I don't think they've had the agenda uh, to be able to work with the big problems in Raleigh. I, I'll tell you, this event I went to tonight in the Midtown CAC, it's about uh, law enforcement, first responders, and it's about our housing problem in Raleigh. I mean, I don't care what side of the aisle that you're on or whatever. This, this is what the Raleigh folks see as the big problems right now. And our city administration has done a horrible job at addressing these. We're over here on window dressing stuff. Look, I'm for parks and everything else, but folks, we, we have to house our people and we have to have public safety. That, that's at the top of the list. I don't care what you say. And you don't have to be on a particular side of that aisle or, you know, in a certain belief system. It, it, it is what it is. And the responsibility of city, city government is to make sure they have plan, plans that allow for enough units to be built in Raleigh's at uh, the different income levels to be able to be housed. Right now, we're running people out onto the streets, making them move out to Wendell, Fayetteville, whatever. And that has an impact on the general public, too. You see prices going up in grocery store, in the restaurants, entertainment. You know, this is because we don't have a service community. Our service community is getting pushed out of Raleigh or onto the street. So... This event, uh, I get to talk to some people. It was uh, Rally Forward uh, last night. The CAC meeting was uh, Larry Halfons, the guy over there, Midtown CAC. Th these were just great forums here for the candidates to be able to come in and talk about this stuff. And there's different ideas from different folks about how we need to address this. But right now, it's not being addressed. It's really just not being addressed. And I think uh, the, the current city council has been uh, spoon fed. Uh, and I think they're responsible for the mess we're in right now, as far as they didn't get the information to be able to, the agenda has been set for them. And, oh, that's great. We've got a bunch of uh, the city now getting into the landlord business of building a bunch of affordable units. Well, I'm glad the units are out there because it, it uh, is gonna help the problem. But this problem's way bigger than that. And it's, you know, I, we're not going to finance it through the city. We need to start eliminating the red tape downtown, following the plans that have been set, set forth before. Where those plans are deficient, we need to move fast to fix those plans. And I think some of it is obsolete, but we haven't been working on this stuff like we should have for a while. So. That's what I'm for, win or lose in my city council bid. If I can start, you know, getting information out there, the voters, so that they know what's going on downtown and we can get on the road to getting it fixed. I'm ready to do that and work with whoever I need to work with on the city council to do that. This is Whitney Hill, Whitney for Raleigh. That's my message. And uh, please uh, respond back uh, with your thoughts on this and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like it and tell a friend. Whitney Ferrali signing off.